I'm Scott Allen Miller and it is the 2nd of January 2023 and today is our first day attempting. We'll see how this works. I don't know. We're going to try a split topic to at least get some feedback from you guys on the whether or not this makes sense. This dappling on my face does not make sense. We're going to turn. Okay. <laughs> That's, the shadows are a little bit extreme. Um, so we did the vlog hopefully earlier this morning. Now we're just going to do a topic about travel, expatting. I, I kind of have a general range of what we do. Today's topic, is 2023 your year for travel to Nicaragua? Yeah, we got to tackle that. It's the, it's the beginning of the year and you are going to be searching for this. You want to know. A lot of new people are going to find this episode. Let's just, everybody knock on wood for that, please. Um, and you want to know, should you be really looking at Nicaragua in 2023? 2020. 2021 and 2022, we tr tourism traffic just tanked in Nicaragua. COVID made it so hard to get in here. And just in general, people stopped traveling worldwide. But places like Nicaragua that aren't giant travel destinations really took a hit because we lost things like our, our hotels failed, our restaurants closed, flights into the country stopped coming because there just wasn't anybody doing it. That stuff made it extra hard compared to other locations like, say, France or Spain, where they have so much infrastructure that they were able to mostly weather the storm. Of course, they were just crippled too, but it's different. Now, all right, the COVID requirements have mostly dropped. You do have to have a PCR test within the last 72 hours and you or you have to be vaccinated with two shots. You do not have to have all five. That has made it much easier to come in. If you're flying into Costa Rica, you don't have anything that's a requirement. You only need that requirement in crossing into Nicaragua. The reason that that's worth mentioning is that sometimes when flying, it's easier to fly into Costa Rica and then drive across the border because you can get the PCR test in Costa Rica if you need that. And that sometimes it just makes the timing easier. Not a big deal, just something that some, some people use to help coordinate making the whole thing just, just that little bit easier. Okay, my, my battery died there. It didn't, uh, it overheated. And it's funny, on the day that I'm recording this, I actually uh, talked to some friends who are here. They have a GoPro 7, and they said they've been through at least four batteries that have exploded on them so far. Um, now, that's a GoPro 7, so the batteries are a little bit older, but I've been through a few on the GoPro 9. This is the first on the 11, and this is the Enduro, so in theory, it lasts longer both in e each charge and in the long term. Now, for the each charge, I'm noticing that it is as far as the long term. We'll have to see. All right, <clears throat> now, the really big deal, the really big deal for Nicaragua in 2023 is that flights have returned. We now have uh, three American Airlines, that's American Airlines, the one that actually called that, Spirit and United are all flying to Managua now. That means that there are direct paths and reasonably simple paths from the United States right into Nicaragua. You have been able to fly into Costa Rica or Honduras even and drive into Nicaragua in the past, but that's an extra step. And if you know what to do, it's not a big deal to the point where I've used Honduras and I don't mind doing that and I use Liberia Costa Rica on a regular basis and sometimes we actually prefer that so for those of us who are in the know it is a no-brainer to sometimes consider those but for most people looking to vacation in any country they need to be able to fly directly to that country and have everything arranged in one single go and they're not going to entertain the idea of doing an extra hop through an extra country that's just off the table for most travelers. So the fact that you're able to return to Nicaragua directly by flights from the US and Canada this year is enormous. And we already are seeing in the first few weeks of these flights being back that the tourists are flooding in. Now, maybe not flooding into traditional levels, but flooding in compared to what they were, say, in November. So we're noticing already at late, really late 2022 and the first couple days of 2023, there is an uptick in foreigners coming into the country, mostly through the airport. So that's big. Nicaragua is coming back in travel. Now, the country may not be making the giant investment into it like it did five years ago, six years ago, even seven years ago, right? Because at some, that point, they were like, tourism is our thing. We're going to do it. They were competing with Costa Rica really heavily. Then when the bottom dropped out of the tourism market, there was a lot of thought of maybe that isn't the place we should put all our eggs. Like we got spread them to multiple baskets and that does make sense. So Nicaragua has been diversifying its economy a bit in the time since that happened. And uh, we're now seeing that a much bigger investment in say infrastructure and things that allow for uh, office work kind of thing. So uh, more knowledge workers, office workers, that kind of stuff service industry that's become bigger than uh, tourism and actually we've what we've heard this is a rumor but I've heard that overall the economy is larger than it was at the boom of tourism so now the tourism is returning it is ratcheting up the economy rather than replacing the economy so that's that's pretty exciting 
from a just overall country health standpoint. Uh, but that makes Nicaragua in 2023 a really, really good destination for, I think, a lot of people. It's got a lot of good things going for it. It is still relatively devoid of tourists, nothing like it was probably in 2022, 2021, but it's still not that many tourists. We're, we're bouncing back more slowly than, say, a Spain, a France, and Italy, something like that. We are still outrageously safe, incredibly welcoming to foreign tourists like the US, Canada, Western Europe. Like it just come on in. So many people speak English, not nearly as much as Costa Rica, but you can get around. You can find people who can speak English at least a little um, and getting by Spanish is pretty easy and it's just very, very welcoming. And we still have a lot of hotel rooms available. The country is not sold out in general. The beaches are, but a lot of the country is not. Getting in and doing things at reasonable prices is still really available. And of course, if you're looking for something more than just travel, we're a great place to come live. And there are tons of housing options because the economy is still generally weak. There are a lot of people looking for jobs elsewhere, and that means that housing has continued to come down. Um, so very, very affordable throughout the housing market in general. So overall, overall, the factors for Nicaragua in 2023, I think point to this is an excellent travel year. The things that have made Nicaragua really hard in the last two years, mostly COVID related or COVID triggered, um, have now been lifted. Uh, the one thing is the actual COVID testing and or vaccine requirement, but I expect that that will go soon. And honestly, it's not that big a deal. The majority of people who are looking to come in are vaccinated and the majority who are not, yeah, PCR tests are just part of life and it's just it's just a quick nasal swab. Not a big deal. Not really. A few people really hate it, but mostly it's not a big deal. And uh, <clears throat> with the hotels bouncing back, the restaurants bouncing back, the taxis and the infrastructure to get places coming back, we have this really, really great combination of things where Nicaragua is still affordable. It's still accessible. You're still on the cutting edge of the tourists coming back, but you're no longer in that adventure tourism where like you're the only one. Now you can be part of a smaller group who's coming back to rediscover an amazing market and take advantage of that. I think that this 2023 really is the year that you need to be looking at Nicaragua. I mean, in general, 2023 is kind of like the big travel year. So if you ask this about a lot of places, the answer is going to be yes this year. 2021, the answer would be generally no, just stay home, right? This year in general, it's going to be get out and go places. But I think if you're looking at, say, a Costa Rica or a Mexico, it'd be like, well, you could have done that last year. There's been the infrastructure came back earlier. You, if you now it's full of tourists once again, Nicaragua is a little bit delayed because of the lack of flights. Those just came back. So get out there and start looking at those flights. At the time I'm recording this, I'm seeing one way flights directly from the United States as low as, or not, not direct, I'm sorry, well, yeah, direct from Miami uh, as low as 141. And, uh, and you can get different connectors from around the country. Don't be afraid of flying into Costa Rica and coming up from Liberia. It's a little bit, it's a little extra step, but hey, see Costa Rica at the same time. Spend a little bit of time there and a bunch of time here. That's fine too, right? Or just put it into a whole Central American uh, uh, triptych and come see the region. There's so many things you can do, but is 2023, a year for Nicaragua tourism? Yes, it is. Is it a year that you should get off your couch, get out there, get a ticket, get your passport, get your passports, people, have them ready. Come on down, explore Nicaragua. It is an amazing place to visit. And 2023 is your year for discovering it, whether it's your first time or coming back, whether you're driving in or flying, come down and see us. Remember to like and subscribe, put some comments below, ask your questions. Anything you wanna know about travel to Nicaragua, boom, get it down there. Do you like the split format where we're doing a topic and the daily separately? Is that better? Is it worse? What do you think is the length? Uh, this is short. We're gonna do a bigger one. I really wanted to get out there because people are asking and they're gonna be searching right away on 2023 and I wanna do it. Uh, if you wanna support the channel, buy me a coffee. And of course, tell your friends, link the show, put it on social media. I will see all of you tomorrow.